Thailand opened the country for a few days already. Many of you asked me, how is it? Is there any people catch positive of COVID-19? And also, how is Thailand pass? You have a problem. Is there still a lot of problem of Thailand pass? I have some more information to share with you today. Sawadee <laughs> It's me, Teya Sujira. If you want to know more about Thailand, please make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you will not miss anything about my country. Just want to say greeting from Ayutthaya. Ayutthaya, and behind me, this uh, river is called Chao Praya River. And just the other day, I also report the news by Chao Praya River, but that one it was in Nontaburi. But unfortunately, people in Ayutthaya is still having a problem with the flooding from Japraya River and another rivers. Just because of the Ayutthaya, it's just like an island which is surrounded with three rivers, which is Japraya River, Pasak River, and Lopuri River. Once they join together, Ayutthaya is just like in the middle. And once when we have a loss of flood in the rainstorm like this. Ayutthaya is the quite be in a big trouble but anyway I'm not here for just guiding you information but I want to talk with you about how is Thailand since we start to open the country to let a lot of people to come back here without a quarantine like a program test and go after three days we could see that we start to have a lot of people come to Thailand already and number one people who come to Thailand the most can you guess they're from Japan that's quite good right lots of people from Japan and also other countries for example like Singapore Germany and Qatar also come to Thailand a lot we got about today we have about 4,000 4,500 people and we found people who catch COVID-19 like a positive test within three days we got four six people three people from the group of test and go like without a quarantine and another three person is from the quarantine group and of course they have to go to process of the quarantine and just have to observe about uh, people who catch positive of COVID-19 but the rest of that we start to have a loss of flight getting to Thailand so this is a good thing and a lot of the uh, provinces also get ready to open for tourists to go back many people also contact me to make a booking of many type of the different hotel and also many of you also have a problem of Thailand pass as I talked with you the other day about first day of Thailand pass the system crashed yeah thank you <laughs> the other day some of you guys teach me how to say yes it was crashed but today is still not completely ready yet because some people get thailand pass and some still don't have the thailand pass yet one thing that we found any of you who want to apply thailand pass by yourself one thing that we found is that usually after you apply everything all complete you're going to get a notification from the ministry of the uh, from the ministry of the uh, foreign affair of thailand they're going to tell you that oh we got your email and please wait and it will take for about seven days before you get approved but some people don't get any notification they don't get email from anyone so that is one problem i'm going to tell you why so uh, i found one thing that the uh, anybody who don't get a notification it's just because they don't use gmail so um i don't know what is happening maybe they use hotmail or anything else but this is a case that we found many of our clients who don't get a notification or they don't get email from the Ministry of the Foreign and F Foreign Affairs. We found that all of them they don't use Gmail. So I think if you have Gmail, you better use Gmail to apply for Thailand Pass. It seems like Thailand Pass can <laughs> be friendly with uh, Gmail. 
<laughs> so if you want to know how many days it would take to be approved Thailand Pass, I honestly have to tell you, I have no idea. Because some of our customers, they can get a Thailand Pass QR code within one day. So I don't know why. Even though we apply exactly the same, we use the same document, we do everything the same, but we don't understand why one can get approved and one don't get an approved. So if you are making a plan to come to Thailand and you don't have the date yet that when you should come, I think you better wait first until the system of Thailand pass is just be completely ready first before you start to um, apply Thailand pass. That is I can recommend you for today. So this is all some little uh, short information that I just want to share with you. So it's going to be helpful for you, hopefully. And uh, if you feel like this video is useful for you and you want to share to your friends, you are more than welcome to share to your friends. And if you want to support my channel, you want to buy me a coffee, you can have a look in the description how to buy me a coffee. And for today, thank you so much for watching until the end. I'll see you next time very soon. สวัสดีค่ะ